Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, we'll discuss the next mode for the Fire Control Radar or FCR, the Air Targeting Mode or ATM. When in ATM mode, the FCR will scan and prioritize fixed wing aircraft and helicopters with as much as 360 degree coverage. Like all FCR modes, ATM can be used either by the pilot or the CPG. In this video, we'll do so in the pilot seat. ATM mode is a helpful way to detect aerial threats and even attack other helicopters with Hellfire and gun. Let's get started. All right, so first we'll set up the FCR for ATM mode. So we'll go to the FCR page. Uh, you can see we have the FCR in GTM mode set up. Let's go ahead and switch our site from the HMD to the FCR. And now for the mode, we're going to go from the FCR GTM mode to the FCR ATM mode by going down on the FCR mode switch. And now we can see our ATM mode, which is you know, very characteristics of this 360 degree circle in a plan position indicator mode or a PPI. Uh, from here, we can also adjust uh, the area we want to scan. So right now we're in wide mode, so we have 360 degree coverage. And as long as we're not actively scanning, we can switch this. So again, right now we're in wide. We can go to medium, narrow, and zoom. Let's go back to medium. And as long as we're not in wide mode, we have the arrows here on the side. And we can adjust where the SCR is scanning. Let's go back out to wide mode. We also notice down here, which was the field of regard box, what we have now is the altitude coverage that the radar is looking. So right now it's looking between 10,142 feet and 7,267 feet. And we can adjust this, of course, uh, manually with the elevation control here with the up and down arrows. Now, unlike the other FCR modes, we don't have an automatic function, so you have to do this manually. And it's really important to keep an eye on where the radar is actually looking. And it's also really important to remember that the radar is in the shape of a cone. So this is only showing the area of coverage at the maximum of eight kilometers. So a target is approaching you, say, um, shorter than that, it could be well below that uh, cone area at eight kilometers and actually not show up until earlier on. And here's a graphic to uh, better demonstrate that. Okay, so at this point, let's take a look at some of the controls that we're going to be using. And we just uh, mentioned, so go to controls. And again, we're in the, uh, the pilot and we're going to be using the collective, but of course you can go to the CPG as well and either use the CPG collective or the TDAC. But in this case, we're just going to show the example here. So uh, the big ones are going to be the FCR mode switch again. So right now we have uh, ATM uh, coming down. Like we just talked about, we can do the different scan size, uh, uh, medium, narrow, wide, and zoom. We'll take a look at the continuous and single uh, scan burst uh, here in a second. And of course, uh, we also have, which we talked about a little bit ago, is the ability to set the site when this case is going to be the FCR. Let's come back. Okay, so we're back to 360 recovered. So let's go ahead and do a continuous scan. We can see the sweep around us. Of course, you also have the ability to do Cisco. So right now we're not seeing anything. So let's go ahead and just uh, down one notch now to 7,840 and notice we have this X'd out area here behind us which is blanked out because of the tail rotor. We can also see that now we're also detecting some targets at a lower altitude between uh, these two values at eight kilometers. If we want, we could also go above us. Notice this is the aircraft symbol and this is the helicopter symbol. Of course, we're not going to be seeing ground units on this. And back down to lower. Let's go way down to 3,227 to 234. And we just have look, a couple helicopters here approaching at low altitude. And of course, we also have our symbols for our next to shoot as well as our alternate next to shoot. 
and of course the number of targets being detected up here in the top right corner. Now finally we have our schemes and when we're in A or B it will prioritize uh, hovering or non-moving helicopters whereas if it's in scheme C it will prioritize a moving aircraft. So those are the ins and outs of the ATM mode in the FCR. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks. One final note on an item that seems to have caused some confusion out there. The US operated AH-64D with simulated DCS never used Stinger missiles operationally. While some foreign operated AH-64Ds do, we're simulating the US version. Also, keep in mind that the winglet stations the Stingers would be mounted to are in fact occupied by the countermeasure warning system sensors.